What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, this jump start system I just bought uh, two or three days ago. Uh, reason behind it was I was out on a fishing trip and I forgot my keys in the ignition with the AC running. So, needless to say, my battery died uh, so much by the time I realized it that the engine wouldn't even attempt to turn over. Um, I had to call AAA. Luckily, you know, they were able to find us in the remote area we were fishing in and jumpstart us so I could get back home. Don't want that to happen again, so I went over to Harbor Freight, bought this jumpstart system here. You know, it's not one of the most expensive ones, not one of the best ones out there on the market, but this is what I bought. All right, it's a Chicago Electric jumpstart system. Okay. Um, it's got a built-in uh, light. I'll show you guys here in a little while. Um, you know, you could activate it by this little switch right here. Uh, you can push it in partially, and you know, it'll work as a like a moment, momentary light. Or you can push it in all the way, and it'll stay on. Um, it's also got another switch over here for the um, uh, the voltage uh, meter. It'll tell you how much voltage your your jump start system has. Uh, you know at any given time it's got an on and off switch so that you can have uh, current going to the cables uh, when it's in the on position or not when it's in the off position um, it's not too heavy you know it's got a little weight to it um, it you know cool thing is it has <clears throat> a secret lighter uh, port right here so you could use this as a power supply to power any accessories that have uh, that you might have a cigarette lighter uh, cable for, uh, or a you know it's not suggested, but you can also ch recharge this jump start system by a vehicle battery. Let's say you're using the jump starter for let's say your boat battery, or using it for anything else other than your vehicle, obviously. Then you can use the jump starter. Uh, with the cigarette port, you could plug that into your car, and you would, you know, the cable comes with this, of course, and you would plug it in to this little spot here. I'll show you here in just a second. Um, and then right down here, you have another port, and this is for your wall charger. Uh, it's pretty neat. Again, it's not one of the best ones out there. Uh, it's 400 amp. It's 400, 900. All right. So there you go. Uh, again, I got it at Harbor Freight. Uh, I did. You know a little bit of reading about these things and I've read in some spots that some people have had a jump start system and it's lasted a good four or five years and it's still going strong and I've read other sites where people say that they're junk and they don't really work too well I think it depends on how you maintain the battery uh, apparently you're supposed to recharge these things at least once a month uh, you're supposed to give it a full charge um, now this specific one has an LED indicator right over here and it has the uh, automatic shut off that way when you're charging it you don't overcharge it and start killing the battery um, so yeah give me a second here and uh, we'll be right back I'll show you this uh, jump start system itself and right now I am currently draining the power in the battery of my truck right, it's a 04 Nissan Titan Okay, so uh, not a special engine or anything, it's just got the regular V8. Okay, I'm recreating the scenario that happened to me last time. Got my key in on the run position, and the AC is on. You can hear it blow. Okay, and I'm just waiting for the battery to die pretty much. It looks like it's already pretty low here. Okay, so already, my battery is already drained. It's not, not even attempting to turn over. So, we'll be right back. I'm going to go grab the jump start system and uh, show you guys if it works, basically. Alright, so, I have my jump start uh, ready. And I'll uh, show you guys a couple things here. Um... Here's the light I was talking about. If you push the button slightly, you're not all the way in. It'll just 
work as long as you hold it in. If you push it in all the way, it'll stay lit. The uh, mono light, it you know shoots out a decent decent amount of light. It'll work great if it's in the dark. Um, here's a little test button for the for the voltmeter. Uh, after a full charge, it'll give you just a little over 13 volts. Okay. Um, if you can use it as a power supply, here's the uh, cigarette port, cigarette lighter port, and right down here in the bottom, you got your port for the uh, for the wall charger. Now, here's the cable that comes with it again. Plug that in. Plug this into a power supply, and right there, you see the little red indicator light. Okay, that uh, you want to wait until this light turns off and that'll tell you that the uh, device is fully charged it has the automatic shut off so that you don't overcharge the battery um, it's already fully charged but I'll leave it on here for a couple seconds and you'll see it'll it'll shut off here in a second in the meantime here's the uh, cable that comes with it um, it's got the uh, cigarette lighter side on one side and this on the other side now this you plug in right here Okay. Now that is if you're going to use this to charge it off of, let's say, a, a boat battery, or uh, let's say you're going to charge it from your from your car battery. Obviously, if your car battery is not dead, uh, let's say you know you you use it for something or other power supply or to jumpstart somebody, and you want to charge it. Oh, the light just turned off. You see? Um, now that it's fully charged, I'll just disconnect it. Um, <clears throat> so if you're going to charge this thing by any other means uh, you can use this but it says in the manual here that they don't really recommend it okay um, where did I see this now here we go okay 12 volt charging it's equipped with the 12 volt cigarette light adapter so you can change the jump you can charge the jump start from a vehicle or boat battery it said this method uh, of recharging is will not charge the unit as fully uh, as when using the 120 volt charging method, basically the, the wall charger. Uh, it says only use this method in an emergency situation as this recharging method may shorten the life of the jump start. Okay, so again, you have the option to do so, but if you don't really need to do so, don't do it. Just use your wall charger and make your device last as long as possible. Okay, so uh, the uh, on and off switch here. Um, the way they say that you should uh, uh, use this device is you plug, you, you know, obviously your car will be off because it's dead anyways. Um, you're going to plug your uh, positive lead to the positive terminal on the battery itself. But the negative, you're not going to plug that into the negative uh, uh, post on the, uh, on the battery. All right. Uh, the negative, the ground, you're going to attach it to any ground source on the vehicle on the vehicle itself something under the hood the chassis whatever you want to do um the cables aren't very long on it that's one downfall that i found to it um let's see here okay here's the cable itself it's about not even the length of my arm here it's you know it's not not very long um but you know it works so Let's go out to the vehicle here and uh, we'll try it out, see what happens. So I got this thing hooked up. Here's my truck, all right, again, it's, the, it's a 5.6 piece on Titan uh, with the V8. Okay, uh, here's the uh, jump starter itself, battery, and you know, it's an older battery. It's not, it's not too old, but not too new either. It's uh, can't even really read it here. It's a December of uh, 2011. Okay, um, it's not plugged in right here, as you can see. Okay, and just so you guys know that I'm testing this in a in a worst case scenario. Basically, I'm, I'm recreating the scenario that I had experienced when I was fishing, uh, which was I left my AC on, and the key was left obviously in the ignition and drain my battery to the point where it wouldn't even turn over so here we go okay turn it over it's in the you can see the lights turning on the battery isn't even moving that's how much i drained it okay i'll turn the key nothing okay nothing okay so turn my ac back off matter of fact look 
Nope, stereo doesn't even come on. Okay, completely dead. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll leave the key in there for right now. And we'll go ahead and start hooking this thing up. Now again, you don't connect the, the, the ground to the uh, ground uh, or the negative post on the, uh, on the uh, battery itself, okay? The positive, however, you do. Make sure this is in the off position, which it is. Now plug this. And another thing, this is a lot easier to do if you have two people uh, doing it by yourself. just a little bit, well, if you're trying to record it anyways, it's a little bit more difficult, but uh, whatever. So it's connected now to the positive post here. I'll take the ground and just ground it to the chassis. That'll work. All right, and let's give it a try. All right, turn it on. Everything looks good. I can already hear it's working. Okay, I'll turn the key. Start it right up. Okay, everything's on. It's running. It's on. That's it. Turn it, turn it back off. Okay. Let's connect that here. I'll wrap around. I'll worry about that here in a second. And that's it. There you have it. Um, as you saw, that would have to be your worst case scenario. Um, you know, battery as dead as it could possibly be. Um, it didn't have not even a slight charge. It didn't make that little clicking sound. Uh, it didn't have no power in that battery. It was pretty dead. Um, when I tried the same thing out last night, it started a little bit uh, easier. But, uh, you know, again, it still starts. Um, you can test it again. Let's see. I can still get another jump off of this, maybe two or three more jumps. It still has over 13 volts. Uh, the light still works great. Uh, all in all, like I said, it's not one of the most expensive uh, jump start systems. It's not one with the highest uh, amount of amps for the device itself. It is from Harbor Freight. You know, some people don't like tools from Harbor Freight to say they're pretty cheap or whatnot. Um, Chicago Electric and yeah, whatever. But all in all, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Uh, it definitely did what I needed it to do. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, now you get to see. I mean, it worked. Again, it did what it was supposed to do. So I'm happy with it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, and one more thing is, again, after every single uh, time you use the jump starter, you want to fully recharge it. Uh, and, again, after that, you want to recharge it once a month after that. Um, you know, if you never use it, every 30 days, put it on the charger, let it fully charge. Uh, that way, you know, it stays at its optimal performance. Uh, here we go. It says, you know... After purchase and before initial use of the jump start and power supply, you must plug it in and charge it. Okay, until the charging LED turns off. This thing here. And then after each jump start, fully recharge the jump start until the DC charging LED turns off. Okay, uh, and fully recharge it every 30 days to ensure long battery life and reliability. Okay, hope this helped you out. See you guys later.